We have the Summer Research Fellowship that has a bunch of different undergraduate students and all different majors uh, that are working on projects related to maple syrup production um, and beekeeping in the state of Maine. They really are in charge of their own project. They came up with the idea on their own. I'm looking at whether or not bees prefer certain arrays or certain patterns over other patterns. Um, hopefully that could be used by farmers or growers when they're planting gardens. If they could use certain shapes, they could get increased honey yield and more pollination because the bees would be visiting the patches more. Bees are extremely important in many different ways, whether that be for crop production, biodiversity and, and habitat health. And specifically for Maine, it's a way in which understanding um, beekeeping helps food production for the state, as well as local honey is becoming so much more popular. Maine is a booming organic farming state. Bees are an integral part of that, so anything that I could do to advanced knowledge in that sector or anything that any of the other fellows could do is going to be useful. We are researching sugar bushes compared to non-sugar bushes. I'm looking at edible and non-edible mushroom growth in relation to maple tree density and forest health. We know that there's producers who are currently in, well, who have maple sugar operations who either want to expand or there's people who want to get into the business. So I'm creating a site assessment tool that producers and non-producers can use to assess a unmanaged woodlot's potential to transition to a productive commercial sized sugar bush. There was some research put out that Maine's only utilizing, I think, less than 10% of available tappable sugar and red maples right, like right now. So there's huge opportunities for expansion in the in maple syrup. It's just interesting to study bees. They're very, they're eusocial. They have collective intelligence and they're always surprising. Hopefully in the future I could find a farmer who would let me plant crops in his field or he would plant his crops in the field in certain patterns and then we could get like a real field test to see if there's more yield with certain shapes or not. For some of the students, they're turning them into honors theses uh, or independent research projects that can continue on into the fall.